Uh, if you're just joining us, Sarah bombarded me with random questions this morning. It was very bizarre, uh, but delightful. As you know, you are a delight. <laughs> Uh, President Obama thinks you're a delight, too, as well. Oh. Sarah, I'd like to give you a peanut butter cup. Oh. <laughs> Do you like peanut butter? You're the best of all. Do you all. like them in a cup? Put them together. Chocolate, peanut butter, peanut butter cup. Delicious. Anyway, uh, like sometimes we'll be sitting here and you'll be doing one thing and I'll have my back turned to you and I'll, I'll randomly hear, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and I never have an answer for you because I don't know. It gives me an idea what to do for dinner. That's why I You're ask. coming to the wrong person, I know. sister. Uh, this is my life. All right. So you asked me a few questions just out of the blue. So I thought you should compile a list and uh, we can go through them. Okay. Here we go. Sarah's random questions, everybody. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Speaking ahead. of random, uh, if you were to do a random act of kindness today, what would you do? Uh... Get off the air. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Would you buy yourself a watch? Yes, I would. Do you consider yourself style deficient? I have no style. Uh, would you Would you spend more money on pants and shirts, your foundational wardrobe pieces, or accessories like shoes, belts, etc.? Uh, clothes. Thank How? <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's, what do you mean? Close. Well, shirt, pants, etc. So the foundational yes. wardrobe pieces. The foundational. Okay. This is very, very heavy for this okay. the time of day. All right, go ahead. Continue. How would you strategically pregame before an awards ceremony? A bottle of champagne. Mimosas for everybody. Okay. Okay. Would it be one or two drinks, or would you just go all out? Eight, nine, ten. Hope to uh, God that you're cognizant during the awards You would have ceremony. to carry me off the stage. <laughs> if you... If you get married, yes. would you be a part of picking the colors of the wedding, or would you leave that up to the to your significant other? Significant other. Okay. So you don't care? No. But what if there's, like, one color that you're like, ah, I really want that color? No. No? Okay. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, do you donate items? And if so, where do you go to donate them? Do I donate? Uh, I've given to Goodwill before. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. See? Okay. Is that it? No. There's, oh, there's so more. many more. Oh, good God. Okay. If Bangor Streets had a personality, which one would I be and why? <laughs> That's a thinker. Hold on. Back that up. Okay. Bangor Streets. Yes. Think of all the Bangor Streets. All of them. Maple Street, because it's luxurious and pretty. What? It's luxurious? Well, it's a beautiful street. Aw. Good answer. Yeah, I'm kissing a little butt today. All right, keep Man, going. Man, you're fast on your feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you ever flown out of Bangor International? Yes, many times. Um, what is your stance on jelly beans? I like them. Is there <laughs> is there one in particular? Uh, I like all flavors of jelly beans. Specialty Sweets has a wide array. Hey. There you go. This is your free plug for the day. Yes. Oh, speaking of Specialty Sweets. <laughs> yeah. Because of plug, you know, yeah. shameless plug. Um, they, uh, I guess they had an incident with some of their stuff. And so they just want you to know that they're not going out of business. They're okay. just like, I don't know, a refrigerator broker or whatever. Oh, okay. All um, right. Next question, please. What, oh, what's for supper? <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, how about this? What did you have for dinner last night? Uh, I had a very late lunch at Brewster's. Okay. Uh, have you ever nuked aluminum foil in the microwave? No. Maybe. Uh, possibly. I don't know. That is random as it gets. <laughs> how often do you eat blueberries? <laughs> Almost never. <laughs> really? I like blueberry muffins. Does that count? Yeah, that definitely okay. counts. All right. Next. But not on their own. No, nah, not really. I I can't do it. They're just too tart. Yeah. Uh, do you know Fred's favorite color? Fred Miller, who works here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, blue. Uh, how about his taste type? Does he prefer salty or sweet or... I don't know anything about Fred. What do you think of... <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't. <laughs> what? Would you call your brain a head pocket or a noggin wallet? Noggin wallet, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a noggin wallet. Okay. All right. A couple more. We're running late. I got one more. Okay, good. Would you like your lady to buy your clothes or would you prefer to buy your own? I prefer to buy my own. Okay. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> All right. There Will it is. Will you pick something out for me? All right. There you go. Sarah's <laughs> random questions. There Boy, we is. learned a lot today, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Maple Street. Maple oh. Street. Maple Street's Bangor's most wonderful street. Or we could call you West Broadway. It's a nice street, too. Wow. And just for that, Sarah, you deserve a peanut, peanut butter, cup. butter cup. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, Sarah. Hi. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just in a little bit T-boat. of discomfort today. You know what make me feel better is uh, I got eggs. T- <laughs> no, well, eggs, but I also have my tuba with me. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> Wait a minute. Let, let's do the popper thing. Uh, I'm Chris Popper. I'm Chris Popper. I'm, I'm so boring. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm falling asleep. Now. Do you have those names hi. for those tickets? Yeah, yeah. Do you? Every waterfront concert. Do you remember the tickets we gave away last September? <laughs> for Do you have show the show that's uh, coming up tomorrow? Yeah. Tomo- no, I need the names by 3 p.m. today. What time is it? 2.59. Do you have the names? What's that got to do with us, boss? It happens. Doesn't that happen every? That's why I every have. Time. That's why I have knots in my back because I don't. Chris Popper. <laughs> there's no, we have no paper trail for things like that. It's so stupid. Oh no. But, yo. Yeah, yo. Yo. So, but I mean, uh, you know what I mean, though, right? Yes. We're always like struggling to find <sighs> names, and it's that's, so. That's why I've tried developing a process here. I think yeah. I got something under control. But here's what's gonna have to happen. Let me tell you, I, I, you are so much more, first of all, you're smarter than I am oh, by a, no, a no, country no. mile. That's not true. You're also well organized, which I am not. So I think you need to handle that because I, all these boo-boos I keep it. happening I and uh, I feel bad. I feel, I sound like Dale. I feel bad. So part of the problem, yes. here we are airing it. I don't you care. Know, for all what, of Bangway. Hey, I talk about what's on my mind. So do you. If you don't uh, like it, turn the station. So right, go ahead. We give away tickets, but... Tuttle also gives away tickets. Right. We do digital tickets on uh, Z1073.com as well. And so there's, it's just spread amongst <laughs> many people. Right. And there's one person it should all go to. That's right. But that one person leaves it to other it's, people to keep track of. It's you anarchy. Know what I mean? It is anarchy. So, I mean, that's just, <laughs> that's just how it is for now. Ready? Do you have the names for the concert? I don't have them. I can't find them. I need the guest list. I'm Chris Popper. Oh, wait. We have two more tickets. Give them away right yeah. now. Do them. Now, can you give away 30 tickets this week? Oh, hi. <laughs> that is oh, hi. life. That, that has actually that happened. That has actually happened. Hey, uh... <laughs> Uh, when he comes into the studio, it's always because he wants something. It's never just like, know, "Hey, what's I going last on?" Time I told him, "I'm like, there and you're like, I'm very skeptical." What? I'm like, "What do you want?" Because okay, <laughs> I can see in your eyes that you want something. Because you don't just ever come in and go, "Hey, how are you? How was your vacation? Well, what's happening in well, your life?" Everybody knows not to do that. So when somebody comes I'm in here... I'm not that unapproachable, trust me. So when com- somebody comes in here, you know there's a reason. Like, there's a purpose behind them being here. Other than I, just... I up. need a favor. Can you give away tickets? I need them now. I'm Chris Popper. <laughs> Enough with him. He always does this to me every time. Uh... <laughs> Uh, do you have the list? What list? You know, the tickets you gave away eight months ago? No, I don't remember, Chris. I'm Chris Popper. That's, that sound effect should follow him around everywhere he oh goes. Oh, my God. Like, that's so right. Every like time a, we talk about Popper, this is the this song is it. that should pop up. I need some help. Can you give away tickets? I'm so tired. Uh, oh, hi. Ugh, enough. I love that we're using not the actual like sound clip of the tuba, but the one from the phone call from, from yesterday. Yesterday. So yeah. you can hear people like giggling in the back. But this is his this is his theme. This is it. This is his theme That's song. That's what now. makes it the tuba and the laughter. <laughs> do you do you have the winner's list? I can't find oh it. There's God. so much crap on my desk. Oh, oh my God. You've seen his desk, right? We need to take a picture so people can see we really how should. this guy works. That's good. I'm Chris Popper. His desk I've never seen I think Jimmy Hoffa is underneath oh. there. God. And then there's like a bunny costume just right. laying all around. Kinds of crap. <laughs> like he can fit in this bunny costume. <laughs> I think so there's so much crap on that. Day. I've never seen anything like it. Do you have a guest list? I can't find it. There's so much crap on my desk. Oh, hi. <laughs> It's really happening! Yeah! Where's your Costanza clip when I need it? Oh, I did. I, I uh, already uh, X out of it. 
I was just letting this play out. It's Todd! It's Todd! It's Todd! It's Todd! It's Todd! 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 Well, good morning, Todd. Welcome back. Good morning. What a uh, wondrous journey you've been on. Yes, a you know journey to say the least. You know what's so funny to me? You remember Todd's be- back! Be- Todd's back! <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> it's so funny because before you left, you go, well, let's not mention that I'm going anywhere. All over Facebook, every two seconds, there's a post. So I don't know what you're talking about. What? what? Before you left, you're like, well, don't tell anybody where I'm going. I, you were like a 14-year-old girl on Facebook. Just saying. Yeah, but not everyone sees my Facebook page, that's... whereas when you tell them, a lot more people hear it. I assure you, oh, no well. one's listening to this. No, Don't that's worry. That's a valid point, too. That's a valid point. i got to consider the listenership. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're all listening to the country station. That's what's going on over there. And uh, not only that, but Dale Duff, too. All right, let's go ahead and take a break here. Yeah. There he is. Well, welcome how do, back. How do you say it? it say what? <laughs> and the Sox lose their third straight. Will they get swept by Cleveland? Don't get the broom out yet. Right, let's go ahead and take a break here. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, spot on. Good yeah. Stuff. I don't. Yeah, you my, do that in meetings. Do you guys have like group meetings? Do you actually pull that out? Oh no, no. No, we had no him on way. the. I had him on the air once because we were peddling some Red Sox trip. Yeah. Like, this has nothing to do with my audience because it's all you know. It's ninety percent female. Hey, ladies. And uh, and uh, he came on, and he was so funny. I did the impression to him, and he loved it. He went, ha, 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 ha. Right, Let's go ahead and take a break here. So, yeah, oh, great. he's got a good sense of humor about it. So, overall, you're, you uh, had a great trip. Uh, a phenomenal trip. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So that was it like really it changed was. his life. You were on like a well, work- Pretty much, I mean, the tour covered every part of Alaska you'd probably ever want to see. <laughs> right. You said you, you were in some I mean? pretty remote spots, huh? Uh, remote's an understatement. Wow. Yeah. Really? Like, middle of nowhere. Wow. Yeah. But that yeah, must have been, was, like, oddly soothing at some point. It was You're nice. Just like, yeah. Like, no internet. No, it was actually really nice. What? Wow. That's yeah. why I didn't get one angry text from you at all the whole time? Yeah. I Amazing. mean, uh, it was fairly spotty. Hmm. And when you're on, like, the first wow. part of the tour is the cruise ship, and Unless you uh, are close to shore and have Wi-Fi signal, uh, it's pretty expensive to get Wi-Fi on the boat. Wow. Listen to, listen to the song you're just in the middle of the woods. Check this out. <laughs> North to Alaska. Look at that. <laughs> Is there a clip I can't find? I defy you, nope. people. <laughs> you're right on it. Todd is an Eskimo. <laughs> yeah, you can, uh, let's see. Uh, white horse in the Yukon Territory. I guarantee you, you've not Never been told. there. Never. Nor would you ever. Right. And Toke, Alaska, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, my I God. Barely, I live like Bangor. The highway goes straight through, and that's all. Oh, she wrote, yeah. I leave, I leave Bangor to come to Brewer. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. Hi, no, Sarah. There were some pretty remote places. Right. Sure. Well, you're wow. uh, good time though, great time. So, wow. are you refreshed or are you just are you burnt out? Because sometimes you. Uh, know. Well, yeah, because I mean, it wasn't like a quote unquote mm-hmm. vacation because we were doing a tour, so you had something to do every day. You didn't mm-hmm. really have any downtime. We had one kind of down day on the boat while we were traveling, but otherwise, that's it. Oh, there you go. There's so some... I think the hardest part's coming back from uh, doing the red eye flight back from. Alaska and oh. trying to adjust from the. So there were a few down moments difference. where you had ample time for booger picking. Good for you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, there's always time for that. <laughs> there's always time. Uh, you, don't need, you don't need too long to get that done. <laughs> well, it's it's yeah, okay. wonderful Anywho. to have you back. Why did the Sarah just go into Jay Leno there? I don't. Yeah. She did a little bit. Wait, wait. Name a town that you were in, because I'm trying to figure out where you went Anchorage. in Alaska. Tok, T O K. Wait, what? Well, bro, what? Yeah. T O K. T O K. Alaska. Oh my gosh. I'm trying uh, to find Gagway. it. Gagway. 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 Oh, Gagway man. was really cool. That was a uh, uh, like you were felt like you were in the middle of the wild, wild west. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. Oh, I, don't, I can't find anything on here. Oh, it's there. Mm. Yeah, it was good. That's, we figured uh, we figured like between uh, flights, yes. uh, the cruise, and bus, 
the entire tour, we did about 8,000 miles. Holy shnikes. Wow. By the way, like it, it's a lot. Alaska's I just, so big. I just located uh, Toke on a map. I'm so wasted. Oh. Is that where Spicoli lives? <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. Right. A uh, couple dick. of mornings in the low 40s. It was oh, beautiful. No. Wait a second. Yeah. You were probably supposed to play that. No, I did play that on purpose, actually. Okay. All right, so Todd. Surprise I, me. I, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, I have a couple of stories for you. We have limited oh, time because uh, you, you're sitting here like a, oh, you're on I the travel it. channel. I found it. Right. What? Okay. You found what? I on found Toke. Oh, me too, bro. To Nana Valley State yeah. Forest. Hmm. Tanana Valley. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, this is, you have see, to this is the stuff me. we learn. Oh, my God. There's a chicken, Alaska. Chicken. Chicken, Alaska. Okay. Moving along. Hi, Sarah. Moving along. Uh, a Florida man is accused of dumping a bucket containing human feces and urine inside a St. Petersburg mm. 7-Eleven. Where's St. Petersburg, of course, Florida, as I said? Ah. Yep. Damien Sims. Alleged act of criminal caca <laughs> happened early Wednesday. That's, uh, that's last two Wednesday. M's or one? Two M's. He obtained the waste from a portable toilet. Mm. Ew. Splattered poo Ew. got on a straw hat and a do-rag. With a <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> with a All right. <laughs> Hold the boat. So that brings up an Alaska thing. Okay. <laughs> so in Alaska, <laughs> they have what they call short drops and they have long drops. Yes. What? The short drop being a porta potty Okay. Oh, okay. Well. And as you sit down, it's only a short drop to okay the bottom. Wait a second. The long drops are like at every like rest area along the highways, and it's literally like the toilet sits like three feet off the ground, <laughs> and it is literally like twelve. It has to be ten feet, maybe oh twelve feet to the bottom. Wow. Like it is just this, and the bus driver had mentioned something about long drops. I'm like, what? On, Target what practice. the heck is she talking about? Oh, you found sure out. Sure enough, it's no joke. It's uh, long drops are in Alaska. Did you make a game Very out of it? Odd. Did you make a game no. out of it? No, they both of them are pretty nasty. They games. should have a target. There you are in the boat, Todd. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, let I me just... tell you, if you're sitting in front of the boat and they let that thing go, <laughs> it will drop you. I mean, oh, my God. You should have seen how many people it scared. That's amazing. But anyhow. So, so yeah, anyway... if you ever need a... If you ever hear the term long drop, that's what that is. <laughs> now I know. Now we know, Sarah. We learned Thank something. Thank God. Body with a very deep hole to it. <laughs> I just don't understand why it even matters. Right. I don't, I'm not sure either. I don't quite understand it. <clears throat> I'm not, I don't know what the reason behind it is. I a long but... drop. By the way, this, uh, the <laughs> estimated value of this, uh, these shenanigans was $28. Damien Sims yeah. was ID'd by the store manager, recorded on surveillance video. I can't find a, is there a mugshot to this guy? Because I can't find one. Damien Sims. D-A-M-I-E-N? A-N. Oh, maybe that's why. It says it's possible the alleged bowel movement bucket dump was an act of revenge. He was banned <laughs> from the funny, store in May. <laughs> He's been ordered to stay away from that particular 7-Eleven and its manager. Have you seen, there? so there's a mugshot in that Huff Post story. He is happy as can be. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Does I do it. it again. Why not? Wicked bedhead to him, too. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, Damien. Yeah. Uh, a Michigan man chose an unusual place to relieve himself. 69-year-old Schwartz. Oh, he's from Schwartz Creek. What the hell's that? Oh, Michigan. Okay. He's not yet been named. He peed in the deli section of a local Kroger grocery store. Uh. A customer in the store witnessed the incident, incident, alerted a grocery store employee who snapped the picture of the suspect. He was arrested shortly thereafter. The grocery store threw out any effective items and thoroughly cleaned the area, just so you know. By the way, the suspect told authorities he had a prostate problem. Oh, man. I can't what? help it. I can't help myself. I had to pee. Aw. That's wow! Sad. No, that's an excuse, Sarah. You didn't ever yeah, it's from, please. sad. It's not like he's serious. Come on, right? Well, maybe it's that bad. You know, like, you know. I just I here's can't. Here's the thing, Sarah. I can't make it. This is why if we, it was, you wouldn't have dumped it in a convenience store. <laughs> this is why we work so well together, Sarah. I'm a glass half empty kind of fella, and you are a glass half full. This guy took <laughs> a leak because he wanted to. I have compassion for no man. All right. Oh. Well, that's not true. I do have a heart of gold once you get beneath all the... Oh, God. He, he did compare me to Maple Street yesterday, which... 
I thought it was nice. Well, now you, you got to put that in the right context because they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm out in the. Uh, she I said, "If I were, one. if I was, were any street in Bangor, which street would I be?" And I said, "Maple Street because it's luxurious <laughs> and beautiful." <laughs> Luxurious. Really? Well, that half of Maple Street where all the trick or treaters go, it's a beautiful street. Okay. All right. Todd. Okay. I get it, I guess. I'm, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know what? To be honest, you know I've only ever seen Maple Street at night. Right. We go there for Halloween. I've never. I, I'll take your I don't word know what for it. That's looks like in the light of day. <laughs> weirdo. Yeah, you are a weirdo. <laughs> hey, by the way, before I forget, sure. speaking of uh, Halloween, mm-hmm. you know what three months from today is? Three Thanksgiving. Months. You know what that means? Oh, the turkey drive is like the thirteenth. Yeah, uh, buddy. He's already been talking about it. Don't even. Yeah, don't get me. You going. think you're putting it in his head? He's already been thinking about. Believe it. me, it's a, it's it's there. <laughs> I was thinking about it the day after we left. <laughs> like, uh, crap, only 364 oh, more days. Great. Unbelievable. The moon over Virginia was half visible that May evening, as was the one on the softball field. Oh, the Roanoke geez. Times reports that 57-year-old Debbie McCulley is accused of mooning the stands, but a judge said the indecent exposure charge could be dropped. Her husband coaches the high school junior varsity softball team. So uh, what Debbie decided to do is she took the field after a loss to Floyd County High School, exposed her right butt cheek. (laughs) She said she thought the other coach was going to attack her husband, so she refocused his attention. (laughs) What do I do? What do I do? It's my butt. She's like throwing him a smoke screen by mooning him? Yeah. Just the right cheeks, all you get. <laughs> That's not even a full moon. Come on now. It's a half moon. If you're going to go, gonna do it, go the whole way. It's a half moon. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> well, it's true. Why one butt cheek? Uh, yeah, that's just a waste. She had a... There's anticipation that the second one may be revealed. <laughs> yeah. You smack my husband, you're going to get both of them. Yep. <laughs> she, uh, she's written an apology and will perform community service. Seriously. See, oh, you know, come on. That's too much. Back in the day... He used to get away with mooning and people would laugh. Now you can't even do that. I know. Like, that's funny. What's going on? What's going on in this world? <laughs> that's funny. Seriously, if someone moons me, like, that's funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Now she's got to do community service for doing that. I got to get this one in quick because I thought it was funny. Art isn't safe. A visitor to a uh, museum in Portugal apparently fell into an art installation that features a deep hole painted dark enough to look like a circle painted on the floor. So he he fell into a black Ah. hole. (laughs) (laughs) The (laughs) The eight foot deep hole is part of a exhibit. So it's a special, extremely dark paint used to create the illusion. Of a black hole. <laughs> it's making it impossible to tell if it's bottomless or lacking any depth whatsoever. Despite several warnings, the guy fell in and suffered back injuries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, whoop. Oh, black hole, God. son, won't you come? Oh, my God. Uh, I classic. love that. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, that's classic Portugal right there. <laughs> right, I mean, nothing screams Portugal more than that. I, I agree. <laughs> what do you expect from them? Right, it's Portugal. Right. It's Portugal. I mean, please, people, let's let's be honest here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, right cheek, son. Where's your left cheek, bum? <laughs> she should have showed the left cheek too. Here, that so you're going to moon them, do the whole thing. Right. Does that mean she, if she had shown both, would she have to double her community service? Oh! <laughs> oh. Thanks. I'm here for the rest of the week. Come you're going to do it. Go all in or don't do it at all. Exactly. Todd. All right, Todd. Do you uh, 